Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a video. Just uh, kind of having one of them nights. I'm, I'm you know, kind of ruminating. I'm actually having some thoughts. And watch out, I gotta, if you notice, I'm kind of paying attention on the road. They're doing road work here, so it's a mess. They get through this thing, and then I'll kind of talk a little bit more about what I'm gonna talk about. I forgot about going through this. Oh, excuse me, about going through this. Yeah, that's how our town is. They start doing road work and it, you know, and, and then they get done by, uh, you know, they'll, they'll be done with this by 2045. So, you know, that's how they do. Can't get anything done here. So I'm zigzagging like I'm in a maze here. There we go. All right. Uh, but I don't know if anybody has ever gone through this before, but I, I get this a lot. I, I have I have a, an uncle that I've had to be around. I don't like him. I can't stand him. But uh, he will. Anytime I do something like like we were talking football one day, and it was Alabama football, you know, because I live in Alabama, so I'm a big Crimson Tide fan, right? And I was talking. They were talking about this was several years ago, and we were Alabama was undefeated, and I was talking about well. You know, they're undefeated, but I don't think they're really that great. They're not playing that great. And they weren't. You know, they were edging out games, edging out wins. And I, I, I just, you know, I wouldn't start any fights. We were just talking with family, and he was sitting there next to me. And I just said that I didn't, um, you know, think they were very good. And he just butts right in like a, like a smart aleck, you know. And he goes, huh. You know, and none of them, nobody else even cared. You know, I was just giving my opinion, you know. And, uh. And he goes, but they're undefeated. <laughs> you know, this real smart aleck laugh, like he's trying to start a fight. You know, and I, I remember, you know, and I didn't say nothing. I just let it go, you know, because I was, the, this is years ago, I was the nice guy. You know, I didn't want no trouble. And say the family would defend him over me anyway. Well, then later on, my other uncle, this was like a period of time later, he said the same thing I said about the team right next to my other uncle you know they were both sitting there and he's like oh you know i don't think they're very good you know i, I think they're undefeated but you know they ain't playing real good giving his opinion and my uncle had this look like he wanted to say something but he didn't say anything you know how you like you're wanting to butt in and be a jackass but you didn't and i can remember i'm thinking yeah he didn't mess with him but he did me and i remember we were sitting there one day talking with my sister's husband uh, well not husband but you know, they lived together for years, uh, her cohabiting friend. And we were sitting there talking, and the uncle was sitting there too. And we were talking about just issues, and it was like he just ignored everything I was saying and, and being real snubby to me, like he would just look away. Just real jerky to me, you know. And then I was, we started talking about women. Now, this is when I first was really starting to read the Manosphere, so I couldn't articulate my views very well. You know, I, I didn't really know how to say it. And I just said, it just seems like from the past, you know, women have changed. That was what I said, that I thought women had changed. And my sister's husband kind of laughed, not real sarcastically, just like, I think he kind of believed it, but it was kind of like, eh, you know, I don't know if I believe that. But he was nice about it. You know, he wouldn't be a mean. He just kind of acted like And I remember Uncle turned around and just started laughing at me real sarcastically. Just real mean. You know, like, ha-ha, I got you. And he does stuff like that to me all the time. It's like he's trying to dominate me. You know, and, and intimidate me all the time and scare me. And he's about, you know, he's a lot older than me. He's an old guy now, but he's like six, you know, about six two, six three. Of course, I'm short. I'm five seven. And it's like he's just trying to bully me all the time. And, man, when you get to my age, you get sick of this nonsense. Because I've had to take a lot of bullying in my life from a lot of people, you know. And I had not had that, you know, obviously in a long time because uh, we're adults, you know. And uh, he's still doing this crap. And I'm just so sick of men and these stupid boomers. You know, and like I said, he judges me because I, I can tell I'm not... It's masculine, you know. And I can tell he judges me that way. Like, oh, he's pathetic. And I'm thinking, number one, like I said, I wish I could, like I said, had a video you could see what he does. Because he does it all the time. 
real at, you know, real, at any, anytime I say something, he corrects me. He'll do it in front of people and nobody ever says nothing. And I just get sick and tired of it, you know? And, I don't know, I just get sick of these boomers, these idiot boomers who had it so easy, you know, and ruined it for us. You know, they don't know the society we've had to grow up in, the dating world we had to deal with, the economic situation that we had to deal with, the job situation that we had to deal with, the immoral society that we had to deal with. You know, it was already, uh, you know, pardon, you know, excuse my language, but it was already ape shit by the time I became an adult. It was already going bad. And it just, I don't know, I just get sick of it. I don't know if y'all have ever had anything happen like that, being bullied by somebody in your family, whether it's your parents or an uncle or a cousin, you know. And I would tell him off, but nobody ever believes me. Oh, he's just, you're just reading something in there. He's just kidding with you. Oh, yeah, and another thing he did one time. Uh, I had found out in my ancestry that Abraham Lincoln is kin to me in my ancestry. He, him and... Him and my ancestor were like first cousins, but they probably never knew each other, you know. And I mentioned that to somebody, and he was sitting there. And as you know, Abraham Lincoln's tall. You know, he was he was a tall man. And I was talking, and I said, um, you know, uh, you know, you know. Oh, I, I found out. You know, that it's pretty neat. You know, I'm I'm kin to Abraham Lincoln, and he. And I said, and I said, I don't know. I guess you know. I said, you know, that I'm kin to him. That's pretty neat. And then he butts in and goes, "Well, you sure didn't? He, uh, your your you know, granddaddy and them sure didn't get the height from him, did they? Because you know my grandfather was short, and I, you know, and it's just like you're just a piece of excuse my language, you're just a piece of fucking shit, man. Like you're such a bully, and I'm just tired of it, you know. And I I'm such a nice person, you know. I don't treat people that way. I wouldn't treat people that way if I was way better than that. Like I don't care about this stuff." But he does this all the time. It's that toxic masculinity, you know, and it just, uh, I don't know if y'all have ever had that happen. I may make a better video later on about this, but I don't know if y'all have ever had that happen to you. But if you had, just uh, mention it to me because I get so sick of it, you know, and I can't stand being around him. And he's never nice to me, ever, you know, and I've never done nothing to the guy, you know, never done anything to him. And uh, I just get fed up with it because I have to put up with it. Nobody believes me. You know, and I want to look at it in front of everybody and say, man, won't you go fuck yourself? You know, I, I mean, I'm sorry to talk like that. I'm just, you know, you just got to put them in their place and say, man, you know, why don't you go to hell? But, you know, I can't do that. But I don't know if y'all have ever had that experience or not. But if you had, guys, you know, mention it in the comment section. I mean, what do you think about this? You know, have y'all ever had to deal with men or people like this, especially men? Because I have. Eh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.